Welcome back, everyone. I'm Tanya June Moore. This is the Sedona International Film Festival 27, and we are coming to you live from the Sedona Performing Arts Center. And I want to say thank you once again to all of our sponsors and give a huge shout out to the Enchantment Theater. Uh, yes, we have a movie theater at Enchantment this year, and it's wonderful. I'm getting great feedback. And of course, as always, I love my job. I have another incredible filmmaker with me. Please introduce yourself and your film. Hello, I'm Ted Griswold, and I'm here with my short documentary, Father and Gun. And you brought a trailer with you, correct? Yes. All right, let's move to the trailer and we'll get caught up together. You are too young to be shooting a 12-gauge shotgun. Push all the way out with this hand. Push all the way up. And then pull back with this one. Pull back. Don't put your finger on that trigger until we're ready. Okay? Are we ready? Look. You hit right there, right there, right there. These are yours. These are mine. Look, but I'm winning. Look it up. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's talk. What's this one really about? So, ostensibly, it's about um, fathers who are taking their young sons to learn how to shoot pistols, handguns, at a shooting range in uh, Northern California, in the Bay Area. Um, but what I really wanted the film to deal with is not explicitly comment on the politics around guns and gun control, although that's obviously there for the audience to think about and to bring their own thoughts to. But what I was really interested in with this theme was the issues of around how the performance of masculinity and how that is taught to young children from their, their parents and then how the masculinity in our society is connected to concepts of strength and violence. Wow. Okay, now I'm really interested and I want to see this film. Because at first I'm like, okay, this is tough. But that's a totally different take and a new subject. So thank you. What was the, the what did you wind up really coming to the conclusion of in this film? Well, actually I think this film is less about coming to a conclusion and more about kind of asking questions and letting the audience just observe and think while looking at something that to some people might be disturbing and to other people might be normal. Mm -hmm. um, I thought to do this um, because my dad actually took me shooting when I was 10 or 11 years old mm -hmm. and it was not a fun experience for me. I, my ears were ringing after the first shot, after he took the first shot and we had to just leave the range. Yeah. So the film juxtaposes an audio interview with my dad and, and I and uh, with the images of fathers and sons shooting. Interesting, interesting. So you're opening up a discussion about what our roles are in society these days and how we promote certain uh, acts of violence. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. that's the... Yeah. Uh, you've screened here already? We screened on Monday. Um, and how was it? How, was the, how did the audience take it? It was, it was great. Um, I think people took away generally what I was, it was, they were asking the questions that I, were hoping, I was hoping they were going to ask in the Q&A, so that was great, and um, we have another screening on Friday, so I'm looking forward to, you know, a new What audience. the feedback, I'm curious to what the feedback is for this as well, and do you have another project in the works? I do, um, but I actually have a couple ideas, they're both kind of in very early stages of pre-production, um, but yeah, I'm working, my dad actually, I'm thinking about doing another documentary with my dad. He has a rare genetic disorder that mm. he's been receiving treatment for. But as he's learned more and more about the disease, he's found out that there's a lot of racial disparity in who has access to treatment for this disease. So that's something we're kind of researching. And I love filmmakers like you that bring things like this to the light. So thank you so much. And thank you for being here at the Sedona Film Festival. Thank you for having me. It's been really a wonderful experience this, thus far. 
So. Well, we're glad that you're here, and we hope to see you soon. You come back with another film with us. Hope so. I'm crossing my fingers for you. We love seeing the returns. Thank you. <laughs> I, I hope to be back. All right, everyone, stay tuned. We will be back very shortly with Bob Mackey.